And I do believe that we have rotten, rotten politics, and I'm, I'm not using that as an exaggeration. Hey everyone and welcome. In this video, we're going to be having a look at the Tories. The Libertarian, supposedly, Tories that are doing everything that Labour have been calling for for quite some time. And this time it's in, t in regards to more censorship. Now you're probably aware, they are bringing in an online safety bill, which will criminalise speech online for those within the UK. Well that's not enough for Pretty Patel and the Home Office as they've demanded that tech giants block, are we ready for this, legal but harmful content posted on their services. Legal but harmful makes no sense. If it's legal, it isn't harmful. Absolute ridiculous woman. The UK's Home Office, headed up by a Conservative Party politician Pretty Patel, is to demand that tech companies proactively censor legal but harmful content uploaded to their online platforms. It comes as the British politicians demand the internet be made safer for children. We've got parental controls. How about you inform parents on how to control their children's use of the internet? Get it at its source instead of attacking everybody else for it. Which seeks to further criminalise speech for online. According to a report by the Financial Times the Home Office is looking to force companies to proactively monitor for harmful content. Who defines harmful Patel exactly because it won't be us will it everyone even if that content is not considered illegal under British law so therefore you have no right to try and police it now this is supposed to be from the conservatives conservative my backside might as well just call themselves labor in blue at this point because they're exactly the same aren't they under media regulators rules this is Ofcom you ready for this broadcasts involving the dissemination of hate speech are banned already with hate speech being defined as and this list is absolutely ridiculous in my honest opinion have a listen to this defined as all forms of expression which spread insight promote or justify hatred based on intolerance on the grounds of disability ethnicity social origin gender sex gender reassignment nationality unless you're english race religion or belief sexual orientation color genetic features language political or any other opinion unless it's a, a right wing a political p opinion then that can be silenced day all day long and with that's probably what this is aimed at to be honest membership of a national minority and these are the best three property birth or age so if you speak about or any of those things and it can be perceived as hateful you're in trouble that's pretty much everything is it not can anyone think of anything else to be added to that list to make it even worse because i can't i think it pretty much covers every single base and it does it with a wide umbrella so that it can be used subjectively on a whim preferably according to the tories at the home office's demand how dare you at this point i just want to be left alone but that doesn't seem to be the option does it and the more and more these fake conservatives come up with these sort of rules the more and more i will never ever or ever vote for either of the two main parties again absolutely disgusting what they're doing it's going to effectively silence free speech it's going to silence free expression and it's going to silence dissent of the government exactly this is all authoritarian crap we're seeing across the world isn't it everyone but let me know what you think i'd like to know your opinion if you're new to the channel don't forget to hit the like you know what to do share it out stay sane see you on the next one